What's up everybody? This is Mr. Howard and we are back with some Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, we are currently at La Fuente Blanca and uh, I think this is progressing the uh, story a little bit. So we're currently playing as Trevor um, and if I remember correctly we should be meeting Michael here. So let's go see, uh, let's go see what we have up here. And see if we can't progress the story a bit. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Madrazzo, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink with you. Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. It's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazzo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, some people, <laughs> they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who were close to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down. And get the files back. A man, what's up, hey? Huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. You need anything, get me on the headset. All right, so looks like we're killing a guy. <laughs> this should be fun, I suppose. So I think we're a little ways away from our destination. So what we're going to do is uh, do a quick jump cut. And uh, we'll be right back uh, with some GTA. All right, so we're at the top of... Um, a mountain or we're at an observ an observatory, I believe. Alright, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. This should be fun. So it looks like we're gonna be shooting a plane somehow. And I think Trevor is gonna go retrieve something that's in the plane. That's my guess. Oh good, it's daytime. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazzo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. All right, so we gotta there find. There it is. Out oh, past downtown. Right. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Didn't do it. Ha! Not good enough. I 
They'll go down next time. Hey, you see it? The plane's coming down. Can you stay with it? No, I think I remember this. This will be fun. There you go! Let's try not to die. Because <laughs> I have definitely died trying to chase this plane. Plane ain't following the road. I gotta go cross country. There's a small jump coming up. I'm surprised how long they kept this point. What is your status? God help. Oh, see? There's always something. They're in the dark. Good. Well, at least the, the plane was down. If the cousin made it, take him out. Sure thing, but seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. <laughs> Just casually <laughs> That's great T, how'd it go? Fine, just fine I got the files I'll take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Well, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Alright, so what are we switching back to Michael, it looks like? And I think my usual 
place is right here. Oh. That should be enough, right? Yep. Alright. So let's get back on the trail here. <coughs> Alright. Change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. This Sounds was a nice fun. car. Alright, so now Trevor seems to have taken matters into his own hands. And I'm not completely sure what that entails. So let's find out. Alright, so... See what Trevor has Where to is say. Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Man, a piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. Answer your fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife! Oh no! Oh shit! What the fuck did you do? Oh, oh I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. I love Trevor. Alright, so what, back to Franklin then? Get in, boy. All right, so why don't we uh, let's go see 
dip. I think that'll work. As far as, uh... Oh, okay. Um, as far as the progression of the story goes. I love having Chop in the car. It's always fun. But I love Trevor. Like, he... He just kidnaps a very powerful man's wife and stole his car. And I bet the guy's... I bet the guy's probably more worried about his car. Knowing him. Alright, so we're gonna go see Devin. Um, see what is new. And we'll be right back. Hey Molly, I'm outside the studio. All right, go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. All right, so we got to find an actor and I guess take his clothes. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. You know how many fight classes I took for this role? Come on. Oh, okay. Well, this isn't going tremendously well. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Um, you need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. Anyone know who this guy is? Is this the new stun guy? Get out hey, of the get that there. guy out of there! He's on Look out the way! <laughs> <laughs> Press this. <laughs> if you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Suspicious figure by the car nice or by the garage. Alright. Oh, is this. Oh, is that not where I'm supposed to go in? Got 
have it. <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! <laughs> practically. <laughs> All right. Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh, life. Oh, no, am I sense intention here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit. But you're the brains, am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. Here's what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so well, I look pretty good. Just gotta find a car. Yo, I'm calling you this weekend. Ah, uh -huh, that's what's up. All right. Oh, it's oh, just a robbery, oh. sweetheart. You insure? Ah! How? How did the cops catch me so fast? Alright, I won't question it, I suppose. Oh, damn it. I guess I was going really fast, I just didn't notice it because of the uh, special ability. So we need to find a car, uh, preferably one, I'll just turn down here, uh, I thought this was a garage. We could find a car like, parked on the road, that would be Great. Alright, I'll just take this one because I don't feel don't like Don't get all hysterical, honey. Ah! What the hell? Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Damn fool, Robin. Oh, I'm scared. That's so funny. That's so funny. No one even cares. Okay. Um. So let's go see what we might go up to.
Okay, so what might this have? He's not home. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? Alright, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. <laughs> Bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that? Your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> uh, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. Might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. <laughs> I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great, let's go! <laughs> what are you going to do? I love We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, Okay, well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise net... Whoa! Franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. Just the plain I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the radio! I hate Swan. <laughs> Under the radar, air traffic's being 
I got the cargo plane right ahead of me. We got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board. If we could get a hold of them, oh my god. So we're gonna hijack How exactly a giant cargo plane. This equipment, so you cut up to them. Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald. Let's just get there first. <laughs> Got a job, man. They're on their screens. I'm plenty low enough, Ron. All right, so I have tried this before. I can't just go for a straight shot over that hill. I gotta kind of follow the river until we hit the ocean. Otherwise, I'll be going over the, by the, the limit now. or whatever. Avoid it, boss. Don't fly over. Yeah, all righty. So once we get over this bridge, we should be able to just follow the plane straight forward. You know the cargo part. plane's got four jets, a 200 foot wingspan. Yeah, 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 and I'm in a crop duster. This is something I'm acutely aware of. Enough! <laughs> I'm in a crop duster. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit difficult, but I, I should be able to manage. Well, that flying is just never easy. I can be myself out here, bullying, reckless, totally selfish, do the things that make me me. Like kidnapping the wife of a powerful Mexican gangster and flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Exactly! <laughs> Everyone's so hung up on appearances in LS, you start to forget who you are. And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? You're the most honest, principled man I know, Trevor. A man of integrity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start monitoring you at that altitude. Oh, I was going to say, how close are we to, like, catching... Are you sure about here? this, T? Most certainly. These bricks, Merriweather, they're what? Using these guns for a coup in West Africa? Protecting some mineral-rich warlord? Confiscating the weapons? It's practice a public service. Karmically, I'm... We're golden! What's not to be sure about? When you put it like that... Handle your end, okay? I feel like the plane's just going in a big circle, right? Isn't that what, what's happening right now? Why 
going to fly inside the cargo plane. Is that a crop duster? What's wrong with you? Okay, I definitely didn't do that egg. They apparently think they got close enough, so I will take it. He crashed into the plane! A health pack. What the fuck is wrong? Have we got a pilot on board? That was creepy. Merryweather Cargo Jet Ground Control, please be advised of a change of destination. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field. Swapping radio channels. Over. Ronnie! Cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the Mac? We are here, T. Awaiting your arrival. I love the, the airstreams. So that looks really cool. So we have to somehow land this thing on our own airstrip? Not entirely sure how that will work, but suppose we'll try. Who are these guys? Attention, we're with the jet. We're under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. Oh, are you could diddle yourself? Hmm. That's a big plane. I've got a fucking Air Force on me. They deploy jets? Oh, try and fly over them, T. Fly above them. All right. Comply immediately. I'm landing at McKenzie Field. We can discuss this there on the dirt like men. Hi, up there. Authorization process complete. Clear to engage. Eagle one, Fox two. Eagle two, Fox two. They shot me. This goose is cooked, Ron. Ron, Ron, you hear me? Oh, your engine's gone. Get out of there, T. You're more valuable than the guns. Control. Oh. 
dirt. I'm getting a shoot and I'm failing. Okay. I love Trevor. Just do this for the hell of it. So where are we supposed to go? So that's... Well, we don't want to go that way. We want to go closer to home. Which... Oh, it's... Home's right below me. Never mind. So I just gotta figure out how to land kind of down here or so. He just lands right next to his house. The hell was the point of that again? <laughs> I really don't remember. Oh, hi. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage. The cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, alright? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Okay, so let's oh, um, that desert air. Let's put something decent on him. There we go. All right, so is my truck in my garage? That would be nice. If it was. No, it is not. Tremendous. Okay, so what we need to do is... Oh, there is a vehicle. Head down the road here, and um, looks like we have to meet the FIB. Really? That's what you get, asshole. Come on! I didn't do a thing. He's the asshole driving. It. Mm. Come on! Come on! Can I just go in here? Great! Police! There's the bastard! It is out! Suspect northbound on Algonquin Boulevard. Inbred dick squad! Come on! Asshole! There you are! Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah. It's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. 
But uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. <laughs> I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what we're gonna be doing here. Going up to Polito Bay. I heard something about nerve gas as well. Okay. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Oh, okay. All right, I think Lester's I know where this there. is going. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. <laughs> well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit who 
what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jason, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate uh, hipsters. That's crazy. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. And you're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! <laughs> Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. <sighs> that was great. Okay, so I'll just pull up here. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay. I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Adam, alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Bolito cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Oh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? 
Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. I'll pay you back when I get paid. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. Alright, so we'll just stick with the car for now. I think I've chose I think I've raced as Trevor. I shouldn't have come. Occasions. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. When Trevor says office, he really means... A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab! Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification, minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. You been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope that... Oh, hey, really? I turned the wrong the way? That increases their funding. Well, that well, sounds idiotically shit. improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County savings and loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the land. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see, but I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it, or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talk? Taking the cops head on messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They are going to be prepared. Oh, shit. For a oh. well-armed, well-drilled oh, team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. Okay, man! I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so Trevor definitely beat us there. Um, I feel like if I didn't go off the road twice, I would have easily beat him, but it is what it is.
Trevor beat us here. Yeah, well, at least we weren't arrested. Wow! <laughs> Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Here you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. Oh. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Choose someone good. Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. Yeah, why not? You sure this is the guy? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, hmm? you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, sure. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Yeah, pretty much. 